Hello and welcome back to Roomcast. So today is a great day. My herbs from Bulgaria came in. And it's this, it's the Icelandic moss. And we're going to be talking a little bit about Icelandic moss, what it's good for, and the runes, and the rune that it's related to. Let's go ahead and put the staves over here. We're going to take our runes. Okay, I will light a little sage and sage the jar. Let me get some sage out of my sage jar. Sage is so good for cleansing. It smells good. It's part of every runester's apothecary, of course. Its related rune is algis. Some call it Elkaz. Don't get too hung up on the different pronunciations. Runes have traveled to us down through time. Um, they were used in many different languages. They have evolved, they have grown. Um, they have traveled down through time to us in various different uh, as in various different forms linguistically so it's not uncommon to see a rune or, um, pronounced in several different ways don't get too hung up on it it's all okay we are saging this jar really good and the lid That's good. Okay, the jar is all saged. It's ready to receive our herb. Icelandic moss is uh, amazing. Um, it's been used medicinally to cure coughs and colds. It's great for um, your immune system. You can make a tea out of it. I may do that later this weekend. Let's see how this pack gets opened. All the way from Bulgaria, folks. Icelandic moss. And there it is. That's what it looks like. It's called Cetera Icelandica. And it's really um, like a fungus but it grows on top of the rocks in the wet northern areas. And it's really awesome, awesome stuff. So, why is it related to the rune Uruz? Uruz is the rune that it's related to. And Uruz is the second rune in the order Uruz represents uh, the Arrakis, that ancient primal um, beast. It was like a cow or a horned cow, kind of like a longhorn, but much, much bigger. It's extinct now, but it used to be hunted um, in the old days. Its horns were coveted. Mark in the jar now. Icelandic moss. And its corresponding rune is Uruz. Uruz is one of the primary runes that you want to use when you're um, working uh, to heal, to grow strong. And Uruz looks like that kind of a slanted top bar. So Icelandic moss figures nicely into that in that it's used to cure cough and cold, coughs and colds and uh, any, any uh, respiratory illnesses. Like I said, 
Um, it could be used. Uh, it could be made into tea, and be uh, can be taken if ever you have a cold or a cough or upper respiratory stuff. So it's very good. It's healing. And when you're trying to heal yourself or someone else, Uru's is the rune that you want to call on. And, you, you know, making uh, several cups of this as a hot tea to drink would be good for that. And, of course, call upon Uru's. Of course, if you want to just uh, get to know Uru's as a rune, and understand its uh, power and magic. Like I said, it's a very powerful rune because the Arrakis beast was very powerful. So it um, it has this primal strength about it. The rune Urus does. You want to think of uh, that that beast, that power that we have within that we can unleash when we need it to, when when we need to. And of course, that comes into play when you're trying to get well or heal yourself or someone else. You'll want to call upon that primal inner strength um, to bring about healing. And Icelandic moss is the herb that will go perfectly with that. So with that, I think we'll bring this short video to an end Please like, share, subscribe, and feel free to uh, comment below, ask questions. Let's continue the conversation. How is your uh, rune apothecary coming along? Are you able to find some of these, uh, these herbs? Um, let me know. Let's continue the conversation. Thank you, as always, for watching and... Have a good rest of your day.